Scotty. Uh, item four is public session. Be it resolved that the board reconvenes public session. Second. Those in favor? Aye. We're now in public session. Item five is a student presentation. All right. Now. This month's student presentation will be brought to us by students from Knollwood Elementary <coughs> School. These second and third graders will demonstrate a robot parade inspired by the Thanksgiving uh, <coughs> parade, which they created and programmed in their digital literacy class under the guidance of teacher Lilia uh, Brennan. And here is Principal Brian Voigt to tell you uh, more. Good evening, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Minnelli. Um, we're grateful to have the opportunity to be here tonight to present to you something that our, our second and third graders from Mrs. Megan Honorado's class have been working hard on um, in their digital literacy class under the leadership of Mrs. Lalia Brennan. Both are here tonight. Um, this is something that was started last year. It was inspired by the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Um, and uh, Mrs. Brennan and Mrs. Honorado came up with a very creative way to take uh, a coding activity using the dash and dot robots that you see and kind of uh, put a, a real world twist on it and, and come up with an activity um, that was really meaningful and exciting for our students. We did prepare, Mrs. Brennan prepared a short video uh, to show the process of how these pr uh, balloons were constructed um, and what they're capable of. And then after we watch the video, we'll have our students come up and present for you here tonight. So All right. Okay. Enjoy the video. Welcome to the Norwood Balloons Over Broadway Parade. During our literacy class, we read a story called Balloons Over Broadway. We learned about a man named Tony Sarge, who was a puppeteer who loved to figure out how things moved. He became the first puppeteer of the Macy's Parade. We learned the history of balloons and how, how they've become so huge over the years. We learned how the balloons are made from start to finish and took a virtual tour of a huge warehouse where the Macy's Parade floats and balloons are created. We have pictures of the nurse we learned about coding dash robots and using a program called Floppy. We are able to get the dash robot to set up directions that allow dash to follow a path to create a parade. Using the Broccoli app we built, the code we're going to use for the robot to run in the parade. It added a repeat block to the start block and asked their program to move 24 five times. Then I added blocks to make dash look left before turning left and move forward. We took the dash robots into the hall to run up to the Next, we watched some videos of old Macy's State Parade to get ideas for our balloons. We were excited when we got to see the Viscataway High School Marching Band in the parade. The Super Chief Marching Band has performed in St. Patrick Day parades in New York City and also in Dublin. Hey, hey. And today they <laughs> crossed the Hudson for their first march in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, directing the award-winning group two former band kids, alums from the 70s and 80s. Both were pursued music careers, eventually returning to Sanway High. Get ready for the Super Sound of the Super Chiefs with I've Got Rhythm, directed by band kids turned head honchos, Ed Gordon and Chris Sumner. Using the Maker Space activity, we created our own balloons and attached that to our robots to have them the parade. After we made our balloons, we went back in the hall and put the green screen up so we could record the robots as they followed the code. Are we ready to go? Whenever you're ready, Amy. <laughs> okay, go ahead and play button. <laughs> 
I know. We added a Macy's picture using the green tool in iMovie. So it looked like the dash robot was marching in the students. Um, you saw them in the video. They're from Mrs. Honorado's class here with us tonight. They'll give you a brief demonstration of the parade balloons. Did that eye just blink? It may have. Did it blink? Did I see an eye like blink? Did the eye robot blink? Eye? In a robot eye? It's yeah. possible, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have, we have Zen Saeed. Come on up. You can come to your float. Amy Mason. Kevin McNeil Toussaint. And Jordan Cotillo, come on up and share your balloons. Stand by your balloons. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, balloons. Oh. You guys can turn So like simplify the code to <laughs> that program to doing some pieces like that. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all that bill after this. This is fantastic. Yeah. You guys can't get any better than this. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Computer's not connected, he said. Where can I get one? Oh, I, I can try and help him. 
Oh, oh, Push your play button. Oh. There you go. The lights on now. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, there you go. Pinky going into you. All right. Pinky going into you. 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 Pinky Pinky Yeah, our trio. Pinky 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 can you, you have a hard time? Spider-Man, what are you doing? No. Who's in the mood? I don't know. He's doing a great job. Yeah. Is this fun? You like this project? Yeah. I saw it. Look at mine. That's fantastic. Yes, yeah, so we it's look at it. It's so moving. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, oh there, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. 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 Cool. Wow. Oh, really? Can they bark? <laughs> 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 Can they bark? 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 Can Oh, is it what I'm going to see? So look, Amy's going to turn around. Movie. Amy got it, turn around. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's turned around. Damn it. Can you turn around? I can't. Go get it, turn it around. Go ahead. Oh, wow. Now yeah, he can fly. He was coming right for you, Scott. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, you can there you go. Oh, oh, that's that's it. Which one is it? Has the sirens? So Which one is it coming from? I'm pretty sure what they've done. I heard that. They made like a Okay. Oh, I hear they're set up. That's what they're doing. They're giving a series of commands like a car. Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Jackson and G.I. Yeah, Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No idea that the so pre think every single step mm -hmm. and then program it to watch it do it. Jordan? Yeah, you got it. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Well, it's good. 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 It's
And Joey Barrera Cantos couldn't be here this evening. Either, but. Not Joey. <laughs> All right, now one. Okay. Do you think the pictures? No, no, pictures. Okay, everybody <laughs> right, look at this way. Make sure you hold your certificates up and smile. Smile. Don't, don't block your face. Okay. Though. All right. Ready? Okay, everybody looking this way? Everybody say robot. Robot! <laughs> <laughs> Great. So Good job. Item on the agenda is item six, which is our student representatives report. Uh, we have uh, our senior student rep and our junior student rep. Uh, our senior will go first. Uh, Veer Patel. Veer, good luck following that. Let <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, feels like it's been a while, especially because uh, remember was. Goes with has a reputation of being called uh, No School November with uh, you know, and a lot has happened since then. And um, you know, since it's a season of gratefulness, uh, I'd like to thank everyone here, and I would just like to thank all the people that uh, have contributed to the school community, and not just uh, the high school, but like this town that I've lived in all my life. Just there's so much things have changed, and. Um, I, I, I see all this stuff coming in with like, especially my brother who goes to Randolphville, just stuff that's going on there and how things have changed and evolved. It's kind of nice to see. Um, I also wanted to point out, um, the I, I, think, I think they already left, but um, I, I think it's really interesting what they're doing with robots and the skills for the future that they're learning with uh, programming these robots. But um, I also want to point out the amazing like ideas, especially with like the caterpillar and all the art that went into yeah. it. That was adorable. <laughs> I loved it. Um, I also wanted to give a few shout outs to um, first the the theater, the, the drama club, for their mm -hmm. amazing performance of the Crucible. I had gone that night and because I was free and I wasn't exactly expecting to be blown out of my socks because I had read the book and I kind of knew how it was going to go, but man, those performances were amazing and it's really incredible what like high school students can put together. Um, and, and it was very impactful, very cool. Um, it's also, you know, as, as the students have pointed out and uh, Mr. Connors, has, uh, Dr. Connors has also pointed out, um, it's 20 year anniversary from uh, when Super Chiefs went to Macy's. Um, Doc was there. I think uh, Mr. Zampolo was there as a tech, but uh, Mr. Gornick, who's uh, no longer in the music department for Piscato High School, but his legacy, his legacy still remains. Um, I also wanted to congratulate the uh, ROTC for their excellent performance at the West Orange competition, um, winning several awards, including first place academic, third, uh, and then a few third place awards. Just overall an amazing performance. And uh, let's see. Moving on, there is... Um, a lot of, especially for like the senior class, uh, everyone's kind of hunkering down because um, the beginning of the school year is kind of passed and right now everyone's in the thick of it as college applications are um, starting to roll around. There's also scholarships and, um, you know, with the grades and school, 
Yeah, everyone seems to be kind of stressed, but um, there are resources out there, especially with um, the Haven kind of expanding their group sessions. I know some people are making use of that. And um, I, it does seem like there is light at the end of the tunnel. And um, there is also, um, in no particular order, there is the NHS Blood Drive, which is happening on the 14th, which is being run by N uh, National Honor Society. Um, students are donating blood. I, I personally know a lot of people who are doing it. And again, that ties into the season of grateful, uh, gratefulness. And uh, there is also, let's see, the winter ball coming up. Uh, the win winter snowball is what it's called. It's, um, it's coming up soon, being run by uh, Class 2023. Council, That's, and then there's also, I, I just wanted to personally uh, comment, especially because a lot of my peers have pointed this out, but um, there's, we, so the student count, the principal's council has been in touch with uh, Sodexo, and in previous, it, last year there was concerns about food quality, but I just have to say that recently, especially with um, them exp expanding the equipment that's available in the Anthony lunches, um, there is, it, the, the, the food quality is amazing. It's, um, it, it's good. It's really good. <laughs> it's nice to hear. Um, huh? It's very nice yeah. to hear. I have the $20 from Sudan. I was, I was <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Also, uh, winter sports. Winter sports have started up. Um, also wanted to point out, uh, FBLA and the HOSA are preparing for competitions, and it's really exciting to see how, especially with my freshman year, HOSA and FBLA weren't, they were, a th they were big, they were big clubs, but they weren't really competing, but um, as of recent, a lot of the clubs and the activities within uh, the high school are really stepping up their game and uh, performing on state competitions, regional, and uh, I think FBLA last year went national. And uh, they have intention to do it again. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that um, that yeah. would summarize. I'd just like to pass the baton to Rahim. Okay, thank you, Beer. Um, good evening, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Um, yeah, like Beer mentioned, although November was a very short month with all those days off, um, we had a lot happen since we last met and a lot happening in December. Um, the marking period ended, so it's crazy to see that like a whole quarter of the year has already passed and we only have three more quarters to go. Um, PSAT scores came out this past week, um, and I know a lot of juniors specifically have been looking at those and seeing what they can do with that for the SATs. Um, and I know a lot of students also express gratitude that the school offers that. Um, and in the spirit of gratitude, um, there's a lot of giving back going on throughout the school, like Vera mentioned. Like I said last month, the Chiefs for Christ Club had their toy drive, and that's now been concluded, but the UNICEF chapter is now doing a toy drive yeah. <laughs> in partnership with Toys for Tots until December 15th. Um, the TV production classes held a segment on what like the Piscataway High School communities grateful for, interviewing teachers, counselors, students, and that was on the PYS TV YouTube channel, and it's been shared with all the students. Um, the Muslim Student Association is holding a hygiene bag assembly on Monday, and basically throughout this week, students donated like hand sanitizer, toothpaste, toothbrush, mini um, hygiene items, and then I think they're going to make kits and donate them to shelters after Monday. And then also, like Vera said, the National Honor Society's blood drive. So there's definitely been a lot of community service efforts